Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a great DIY to you and I just want to say cheer for Father's Day. I have here um, a martini Malibu Bacari that I prepare myself, so cheer salut. So guys, today I have a great DIY. I had this beautiful cross wreath that I have a long time with me. I really don't remember uh, where I got them, but I used to have more flowers, but with the wind, they blew away. So today I'm planning to decorate it and make it look more nicer. And in here, guys, I have these two flower arrangement that I bought from the Dollar Tree and this is what I'm planning to use to decorate it with two dollars. So I have um, a wire cutter here and this is what I'm going to use to cut the flowers. So you just put it, you just don't cut it too long because you don't want it uh, that the stem will come out to the other side of, of the red. So I'm going to cut all the flowers and then I'm planning to rearrange on the cross. So let's see how this is going to come out. So, cheers! Mm -mm -mm. Guys, that tastes so delicious. And I also had this purple flower that I also got from the Dollar Tree. So it's actually, it's with $3 that I'm planning to rearrange me. So, the purples I'm gonna put it this way and then I'm gonna start with the cream um, rolls and I'm gonna stick one here then I'm gonna use the flower I'm gonna go sideways and then I'm going to put one in the side. It's hard to see when you're making a video. Look how pretty. And then I'm going to put another one here. And then one white in the middle. Look at how pretty. So what I'm trying to do is fill it up the cross one rose there and I'm going to put another white here let's fix this one and then another rose here so whatever we do in this side we have to do it in the other side. So put another rose there. And a white here. And then we're going to put a rose on top going down. And then another white different I'm going to put it here going sideways and I'm just sticking it in on the on the rows and whatever is uh, if the stem is sticking out I will cut it and try to make any look look at how nice it already looks with just two two um, two flowers so another one there and I'm going to put a white one there 
looking down. And whatever you see that it needs to be filled up, I'm going to put this stem. It's too long, so I'm going to cut it a little shorter, maybe about that, half, halfway. So this is the, the length that I'm using. See? So I'm going to put that one here. Look how pretty it looks. And it looks like we need something here. So I'm going to put this one here. Look how pretty it looks. And then I have another one that I'm going to put here. So this one will go here and looks like I need another white one. So I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to rearrange the purple ones so they both look the same. Look how beautiful that looks. I hope that this inspired you guys and you go and you try it. So now I'm going to turn it in the other side and you see that some of the stems are long. So those stems that are sticking out, I'm going to be cutting them with the wire cutter. So like that, because I'm going to put this on the door. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the stems that I stick it, that they're sticking out. So like that, when I put it in the door, uh, the flowers won't fall down because I don't want to glue them because like that, I could use um, these flowers for another arrangement. And I could decorate it another um, color. So look, I have two of them. I had these two for a long time. So I decided to decorate it, but I like this one. I need to get more flowers for the other one. So I hope that this inspired you. And since today is a um, Father's Day, I decided to, de to do this DIY. So have a blessed day. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoy it and you go and create.